In this video, we take a look at rebuilding the Udor 6010.24 regulator commonly found on the Kappa 40 and 55. Start by removing the regulator from the pump. Remove the top assembly using a 10 mm wrench. Once the two bolts have been removed, the top assembly along with the RV body will separate from the main body of the regulator. Set the top assembly aside while you remove the RV body and the lower seat assembly from the regulator body. Once the top components have been removed from the main body, clean the main body before rebuilding. To rebuild, you will need part number 8701.10. This is the entire rebuild assembly for this regulator. Start the rebuild process by removing the old urethane poppet from the cup assembly. The urethane poppet typically gets worn out causing pressure to reduce over time. Remove the cup assembly using a 5mm Allen head. Once the cup has been removed, you will reveal the diaphragm. Before rebuilding, we're going to clean the top assembly. With the top cleaned, we will now start rebuilding. First is going to be the diaphragm. This is directional, so make sure the side with two ribs is facing up. Follow that by the cup and the new bolt. Tighten using our 5mm Allen head wrench. Replace the urethane poppet. This is non-directional, it doesn't matter which side goes in first. Next we will replace the seat. The seat needs an o-ring. The o-ring goes into the lip of the seat and that side faces down. To reassemble, we're going to start with the regulator body, followed by the o-ring, then the seat, followed by the RV body. The seat should fit into the RV body. Make sure the position of the outlet threads is the same as when you removed it. Next we're going to take the upper assembly, place that into the RV body. The seal here is made with the diaphragm. And then we're going to replace our bolts. Tighten the bolts down and the regulator has been rebuilt. In the repair kit there is an extra o-ring. That is the replacement o-ring for the side where the regulator attaches to the pump. You're going to want to make sure that's in there when replacing the regulator to the pump.